Hi, this is Anthony Santu from MyRecordingInternship.com to talk to you a bit about VCA automation and coalescing the VCA into your group automation. First thing I want to do is I'm going to make some VCA automation here uh, just quickly by going ahead, bringing up my big fader and going to latch mode so I could just write some stuff right now. Let's take a quick uh, look and I'm just going to do it randomly for now. So we just did a very random type of situation with that, but let's go ahead and go to our volume on all of our other ones here. And you can see that I have no automation on these tracks, but you see this blue line here and that's our composite. Uh, so that's actually what's happening on this track. You can see that they are exactly the same and that's the composite volume between what's going on on this track and what's going on on that track. And let me show you what that means. So let me just, uh, I'll just do this in hand mode to just illustrate it real quick. So I'm going to click the volume here and I'm in a group here. I'm affecting all the volumes at the same time. So you'll be able to see that as well. I'm going to click the volume here and I'm going to make it go up straight like this. And you'll see now, this is the composite of both automations, not just the first one, but both of the automations. This is what it would look like. So let's take a listen to that. So that's how that works. And now we know what this, this is. This is a composite here. And you can actually toggle that view on and off if you're not getting it on your track. Uh, just go up to view, um, go over to automation and composite playlist. So that's what that is. If you clicked it off, that would go away. But we want it on, so let's click it back on. Great. Now, what's a little interesting about this is say I want to now edit this individually. I'll bring up my big fader. Uh, I want to edit it individually now. I want to put it on latch again and work with it. And you'll see what happens here. You see what happens is it gets controlled from the point uh, at the composite is, not from the point that it is uh, which is a bit of a problem for us as we move forward. I'll, I'll illustrate that one more time now that you're paying attention to what exactly I'm talking about. It's going to get controlled from where the composite is rather than from where the track volume control is. So here I am now on the overhead right to show you that. So keep your eye on this black line because that's the line uh, that we're moving off of and this is the composite line. You'll see that it takes one over the other as you're latching. All right, so what happened was it used to look like this. We go evenly up, but I grabbed it from a point where the composite was down, and that's the point in which it started writing. So you get a little bit of that, that right angle type of thing, a drop that I didn't want completely. So how, how can we edit after we went ahead and did our VCA automation and we had uh, this composite already made, how can we edit? Uh, what we can do is, I'm just going to undo those two things, what we can do is actually fold this composite automation into the track by coalescing it in. Uh, and that's just going to now add them both together and put the automation on each one of my group tracks. So let's go and do that now. Let's click our drum VCA, go over to track and coalesce VCA automation. And keep your eye now on the screen here just to see what it does. There we are. Now everything that was on this track and everything that was on this track written is now written together. The composite is now what's true here. And we could uh, still control the automation again through uh, our VCA track or through any of these individual tracks. So that's how compositing with VCAs works. I hope that helps you out when you're doing your workflow. I hope that speeds it up a little bit. But thanks for being with me on this one and I'll see you on the next one.